It's been nearly 200 years since we discovered a new planet in our solar system. Neptune was the last one, found in 1846. But now, scientists believe they've found evidence of something unexpected lurking in the dark, icy regions beyond Pluto, and they're calling it Planet Y. Today, we're diving into this groundbreaking discovery that could rewrite our understanding of the outer solar system. To understand this discovery, we must discuss the Kuiper Belt. Picture a vast, donut-shaped region of space that begins just beyond Neptune's orbit and extends out to about 1,000 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. This cosmic junkyard is filled with the leftovers from our solar system's formation. Icy, rocky objects that never quite made it into full planets. Most of these objects are tiny by planetary standards. Even Pluto, the most massive known resident of the Kuiper Belt, is just 0.2% the mass of Earth. These are the cosmic debris, the building blocks that weren't incorporated into the major planets when our solar system formed 4.6 billion years ago. Scientists have suspected something much larger might be hiding out there for over a decade. This theory, known as Planet X or 9, emerged when astronomers noticed something strange. Six distant Kuiper Belt objects shared remarkably similar orbital characteristics. They were aligned in a way that seemed too organized to be random. The leading explanation? A massive undiscovered planet, perhaps five to ten times the mass of Earth, was gravitationally shepherding these objects into alignment. But despite years of searching, Planet X remained elusive. No one could actually spot it. Princeton University's Amir Siraj and his team decided to take a completely different approach. Instead of looking for individual objects behaving strangely, they examined something more subtle, orbital planes. Think of an orbital plane as the imaginary flat disk a planet traces as it orbits the sun. Here's the key insight. If there's no large planet in the Kuiper Belt, you'd expect the average orbital plane of Kuiper Belt objects to match that of the inner solar system. But if there is a planet-sized object out there, its gravity would measurably warp the orbital planes of nearby objects. The team analyzed over 150 Kuiper Belt objects from NASA's database, carefully selecting ones that aren't influenced by Neptune, which acts like the playground bully of the outer solar system, shoving objects around with its massive gravitational influence. What they found was remarkable. Close to Neptune, between 50 and 80 astronomical units from the Sun, the Kuiper Belt objects showed orbital planes consistent with the inner solar system. But something changed farther out between 80 and 200 astronomical units. In this more distant region, the orbital planes were significantly warped compared to what you'd expect. The probability that this was just a random chance? Only about 4%. In scientific terms, that's strong evidence that something real is causing this effect. The team then ran computer simulations, testing planets of different masses at various distances to see what could produce this warping effect. After extensive modeling, they narrowed down the culprit. A planet between 25 and 450 times more massive than Pluto, orbiting somewhere between 100 and 200 times Earth's distance from the Sun. To distinguish their discovery from the theoretical planet X, Siraj's team gave it a new name, Planet Y. Unlike Planet X, which would be a distant super-Earth, Planet Y would be closer in and less massive, somewhere between the size of Mercury and a small Neptune. It's crucial to understand that Planet X and Planet Y, if they both exist, are completely different objects. Planet X would be a massive, distant world, while Planet Y would be a smaller, closer-in planet that's still significantly larger than anything else we know in the Kuiper Belt. The hunt for Planet Y will get a major boost. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile is beginning its Legacy Survey of Space and Time, a 10-year project that will discover 5 to 10 times more Kuiper Belt objects than we currently know about. This flood of new data will either confirm Planet Y's existence by spotting it directly, or rule it out by providing enough new objects to map the Kuiper Belt structure definitively. Either way, we're on the verge of answering a fundamental question. Are there still undiscovered worlds in our cosmic backyard? The search for new worlds continues, and our solar system may still hold surprises that could reshape our understanding of planetary formation and the history of our cosmic neighborhood.